Hello, this is Jed. For this video I'll be speaking about the violet ray and not the visualization or metaphysical form of it, but the actual physical violet ray device, the electromedicine or frequency medicine instrument that's actually based on some basic Tesla technology, the Tesla coil. So this is a device that's been around for over a century and it became somewhat popular in the first half of the 20th century, in the early 1900s. And there are companies that sold devices that use this violet ray form of energy. Different physicians and laypersons were using this and applying it for a variety of concerns with their health and well-being. And nowadays it's something that tends to be used more for anti-aging, for beauty, for skin care. There are also people that use this type of device as a form of erotic stimulation since it's electrical energy that can stimulate the skin. These devices were often referred to in the readings of Edgar Cayce, and his readings were often focused on health and people's medical concerns. Of course, in this video I'm not offering any information in place of medical diagnosis or treatment. This is for educational purposes. So it's your responsibility in terms of how you may use and apply any information that you're getting as you research a topic online. This isn't presented as medical advice or diagnosis, just that disclaimer. And now we're going to go into a little more detail about what the violet ray devices are and how they work. First, I'll show you one of the sort of classic vintage style devices. So here you can see Master Violet Ray. Medical Master was the company that manufactured this. And this is the device. I don't know if you can see it in the container here. So basically it's a device that plugs into an electrical circuit, electrical outlet. And in the top here, you would place a bulb and the bulb would be one that contains a halogen gas. So this would be a, a typical bulb. And it would light up the violet color. So that's due to the argon gas in the bulb. And when you turn that on and increase the electrical current coming through the bulb, you're creating this sort of high frequency electrical energy that creates a, a plasma type effect. So if you've seen those plasma balls, you know that if you place your hand on the glass on that bulb, then these sparks of electricity jump toward your hand. That's plasma. So it's this current of energy connecting the electrical field of that bulb with the electrical field of your hand. So this discharge occurs because of the differential current between your hand and the bulb. And it's sort of the same principle as lightning where there's a discharge from the built-up electrical energy in the atmosphere as it grounds itself down to the earth. So these are just some basic phys um, physics principles or electrical energy principles. And that principle can be used with this type of device for healing. 
Now there are <clears throat> plenty of modern instruments that are designed the same way as this. So we're going to look at one of those here. This is the modern type violet ray device. I have the electrical cord plugged into an outlet. So this line is made in China. I don't know if you can see that on the label. There we go. There's a label made in China. And this one comes with a wider variety of bulbs. So this is one of the bulbs. This is one of the bulbs. It even includes a comb-shaped bulb. So each of these bulbs will light up the violet color because they have the argon gas. You could also use bulbs with, a, I think, a neon gas which produces more of an orange color. And they work basically the same way. They produce that plasma type electrical current discharge. And when you have this over your body, over the skin, it's helping enhance circulation and it's also producing ozone. So those are two phenomena that have potential healing benefits. So we're going to turn this on now. So you can see now there's a bit of that purple color in the bulb. And if I put my hand here, it causes the discharge. So the purple goes up the comb filament. And if you can see well there where the static electricity jumps between the bulb and the skin below. But that is a phenomenon that's occurring when you're using this type of device. And generally it's not painful or harmful in any way. Of course, some people might be somewhat sensitive to the sensation of that electrical current. So you might want to start off on a lower current setting to see if it feels comfortable before increasing the intensity of the electrical current. This is something that is often used for skin conditions, for circulation issues, and people report a wide variety of benefits from using this type of device. It's hard to say for sure which of the properties is producing those effects. Is it the high frequency electricity? Is it the ozone? Is it whatever light is generated? All of those have potential benefits to them. So it's something that hasn't really been researched so much in a more refined, empirical, medical type way. It's something that was just used a lot and many people reported clinical benefits. If you're interested in learning more about this, there are various articles about it, about Tesla's technology that it's based upon. Tesla coil. You could also find information on Edgar Cayce's readings that refer to the violet ray and how it could be applied. I think it's helpful to consider that electricity is sort of the basis of life energy. 
So our vital energy is sort of an electromagnetic energy as it comes in through our physical body. If we think about the nature of energy and matter, we can realize that there are four different states that matter could exist in. We have solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. So plasma is the highest frequency form or highest energy state of matter of anything that could exist in what we perceive as the physical universe. Certainly there are frequency ranges even beyond plasma going up into the spiritual realms. But as far as the physical realm and what we can detect in the physical plane, plasma is the highest frequency form of energy. We can use the analogy of water where the water molecule has the atoms of hydrogen and oxygen and when those are moving very slowly, when it's a very cold temperature then it appears solid, we have ice. Then as the energy excites and accelerates, as it becomes warmer, we have liquid water. And then as those atoms get stimulated and move into an even, even higher frequency state, you have water vapor or steam. So beyond that, you could have energy in a plasma state where the frequency is even higher. So that's more of a state of electrical potential where you don't really notice anything until that energy field interacts with another energy field with another physical body or something of that nature. So you could have plasma filaments currents connecting different celestial bodies. If you look out into the cosmos, you can envision sort of a, a web of plasma filaments connecting stars and galaxies. So there's that energy flow that exists everywhere. And then the physical objects help bring that energy down or de-intensify it in a sense to a, a state where it could function to produce physical reality effects. I appreciate you for your time in viewing this video. For those that are interested in holistic health and wellness, I invite you to view my website phinsights.com that's p-h-i-n-s-i-g-h-t-s dot c-o-m for now I wish each of you a wonderful day namaste